What's up guys, welcome back to the Furious Garage. I know I've been teasing you guys with another movie car reveal, which is right behind me. But I just wanna talk about this car. This might be the most important car to our entire collection because it puts something together that we all remember and probably one of the most iconic scenes in the entire franchise. Without further ado, I wanna show you guys this vehicle and you're gonna see why this car is so important to the collection and is the only car remaining in this look. So this car puts something together that I am so, so happy to share with you guys. And let me show it to you. Behind me is Danny Yamato slash RJ Devera's white Honda Civic that you guys see in the first street race. This is the car that actually spit the flames and he was playing PlayStation high speed ring in in this very car right here. Um, super special to us because it is the last car we needed to complete the four way street race. So let's recap. We have Monica. We have a stunt Eclipse that Paul Walker drove in the first film. We captured an RX-7 that Vin Diesel drove and this was the last remaining car and is one of one right now to complete that street race. But you can see it's in pretty sad shape. I mean, if you walk around, you're gonna see cracked ground effects, um, just parts scattered everywhere, and no engine and transmission. Who would have thought? It's our second car we've gotten with, no, third car we've gotten with no drivetrain. So, uh, another car on the list to restore, but the cool thing is this. When I was at the live Acura Integra reveal, I got to speak with RJ Devera and told him that we had this car because he was at that event as well. And we chatted about this and I really wanted him to be a part of this in some capacity in social media. He kind of agreed to. I'm going to let him pick the engine and transmission combo that we go in this car and then reunited with the car. Maybe, just maybe we can get him to play PlayStation in this car one last time. That's my goal. So check it out. Uh, let's see what's uh, what it's missing. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. There we go. Okay. I'm going to take you guys for a ride on the inside of this thing for a second. So check it out. We have scattered parts everywhere. We are missing so much. Radio, uh, I'm guessing, well, obviously, you know, the PlayStation was here and there was some gauges up there and we're missing, I don't know, the horn, yeah, the horn. and shift knob and hey, we still have the e-brake handle. That's cool. So you can kind of, kind of see what we have to do on the inside of this uh, behind me. The back isn't too bad, but I can't wait to do this car. You know, if you know me, you know I'm a huge fan of Honda and Acura. I've got a lot of Hondas and Acuras in the collection. So this, to us, is not going to be a hard restoration because we're already Honda fans. But we're going to let RJ actually pick what drivetrain he wants us to go with, which I think is fitting. Probably faster than Monica. That's the goal, because Monica came dead last in that race. So we got to make this a little faster. So... You the slowest one the Eclipse, right, sir? You, I know what the slowest one is, Goober. Why do you keep saying that? Yes, the Eclipse is slow. Right. It is not. And then right here as well. So check it out. These are the actual Movie Correct Apollo seats. When you see RJ sitting in the car, I'm sorry, Danny Yamato, you see the Apollo background um, in the seat. So these are 100% untampered with original to the film. Got the Momo steering wheel. So check it out. The way that you guys see this car right now in complete disarray with all these parts just scattered everywhere is exactly the same way in which we grabbed it from the museum. And upon further inspection, I was just in shock. Right here is the flamethrower exhaust still laying in the back of the car. Out of all the cars we've gotten so far, this is the only car that's come with a flamethrower exhaust. Mr. Craig Lieberman was here and we looked at this in depth and he verified this is 100%. Uh, a screen used flamethrower exhaust, even has a decal. It says white Civic number two. There. No idea. Um, so very special. They actually hooked up propane here and then some type of ignition switch and there's a spark plug and then 
So very, very cool, very special to the car, and it's just been laying back here for, what, almost 20 years. So when we were... <laughs> <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. <laughs> So when Derek and I went to the museum, I was inspecting this car and I folded down this very seat and found something in this trunk that blew my mind. So I fold down the seat and I see a piece of fiberglass, yellow like that. And I thought to myself, there's no audio inside this vehicle. We never saw a speaker box of any sort, right? So I take it and I lift it up. And what do we have here is the actual roof scoop to the Eclipse, the blown up Eclipse. This right here to me is amazing. We're gonna uh, hang it for garage art, but this is the actual roof scoop. You can see the charring and everything else. So it was just laying and chilling back in the back of this as well as the rest of the sunroof frame. So an amazing piece of movie history. Inside the trunk, we see some also some pretty cool relics of when it was in the film. So let's remove this for a second. And check this out. If you're around my age, you'll remember these, right? Old APC wrappers when you went to like the auto parts store and you got all your ricer lights. Well, those are the packages in which you came in, right? But right here, you have two lines going there. That's a propane line. And that right there is the ignition line that goes all the way from the front of the car to the rear to the exhaust to shoot the flames out. So when I had Craig Lieberman here and we revealed this to him, uh, we did a video on this and he verified that's the way they did it, which is cool. So the car has a lot of history, a lot of history, and it's just been laying and parted out and just here for us to restore, I guess it was meant to be. But now we can recreate the four-way street race with the vehicles that we have. We are the only collection now in the world that can say that we are gonna have a running and driving four-way street race again. And we are gonna do some amazing, fun things with it to show you guys maybe another drag race who knows the ideas are all over the place but we can go a million different directions with this and you guys are going to love it i can assure you if you're a fan so as you can see it's got the original ground effects but they are all cracked and beaten down here um, got a huge crack here. You got some some NASCAR duct tape right there, buddy, holding these things together. So we're gonna have to fix this and probably refiberglass a lot of this, but we will restore it. Actually, was molded into the quarter, uh, which is great. But we're gonna have to redo it. I'm sure there's a crack here. There's a big crack here, and it's kind of wobbling here. But I'm not gonna order a new body kit. We're going to fix this. Let's do that again. As you can see, the back bumper is just laying on the ground. When we got it, it was held on by two drywall screws. I'm sure it wasn't like that in the film. These cars went to the UK at one point in time in a collection, then came back uh, to the Desertland collection and then have been moved and shuffled and whatever else. So yeah, I'm sure they were trying to mend it any which way they could to keep parts on here, but we're gonna make it correct. You know how we do things. It's no surprise, watch our videos if you don't know the kinds of restorations that we do because this car is gonna get a badass restoration. So we have the correct wing. We got the APC taillights. Haven't seen these in a while, huh? Remember these, the Altezas? Yeah, yeah, buddy. If you had these back in the 90s and 2000s, mm -hmm. we you, knew, you knew you were fast. Bam! It is rocking the factory decals. Why is the quarter glass missing? Well, I'll tell you why. Because it is for in-camera shots, in-car camera shots of RJ when he's playing PlayStation. So they would remove the quarter glass, which, thank God, is right here. So we will end up putting this back on professionally once the car has gotten a restoration and repaint, including the windshield. So check this out. The windshield isn't even in. You can see right here. Because when they had a front shot of Danny Yamato slash RJ playing the PlayStation, you don't want glare. So they would remove that, they would have it where they could just, all the glass, just quick remove, tape it back, whatever they had to do. So kind of another cool little piece of history to the car. Um, we will have to get weather stripping obviously and everything else. But another cool feature about this car that I love, and if you grew up in the era that I did, late 90s, early 2000s, you'll know about the Z3 fenders. So 
BMW in the mid 90s came out with the Z3 and it had these little slash vents in the fenders. Then body kit manufacturers were replicating them, but also to fit all different makes and models. And Danny Amato's car got that treatment. So let's focus in on these awesome pieces of... <laughs> Wait, the, the, are those added or? Because normally you get the Z3, you just get these. You normally don't get these too. Back in the day you had Z3 fenders and then you had Z3 Deluxe. And the Deluxe gave you two more vents for more heat extraction. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it definitely a period correct thing that is super, super cool. Today, we don't really find it to be all that, that cool. But back then, if you had Z3 fenders on your ride, man, you were serious. Between the APC taillights and Z3 fenders, <laughs> showtime. Right here are the movie correct racing hard CP wheels that are in amazing shape. I mean, barely even a nick on them, uh, which is great because I don't like searching for wheels or anything like that. Finding period correct wheels of this time, especially movie car wheels, not an easy task. However, these are already on here, so one last thing that we have to address, but they are in amazing, amazing shape. Um, I can't hold myself together, I'm sorry. <laughs> so if you notice on the front of the car, the headlights have like some screen mesh over it. Why they did that is because when they had the camera focusing on the car, they needed to dim down the glare of the headlights. So this car still has it on the left-hand side and has some remnants on the right-hand side, which super cool. I don't know if we're going to leave that or not. You know, that'll be up for debate, but uh, it is movie accurate and that was done by the film. And underneath the hood is pretty sad, but pretty cool at the same time. So let me show you. Yes, yes, we've got no engine. After further inspection on getting the car home, we actually opened up the hood and saw this big spaghetti strand of wiring. And after speaking with Craig Lieberman trying to get to the bottom of this, we realized this. This wiring went to an auxiliary cart that was in front of the vehicle. That cart powered all the audio, the PlayStation, and everything that RJ slash Danny Amato was doing inside the car. So they didn't have to have an old beefed up alternator or more power. It was just simply a cart outside that would power this. It also powered the... Uh, RX-7 stereo car that you guys see. So for this to still be in here is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do with it, but it is a piece of movie history and it's still here with the car. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Please like and subscribe. Um, this is history in the making. We are saving automotive and cinematic history. And these are the real screen use Fast and Furious cars. And you're gonna see the four-way street race eventually get put back together. Hopefully RJ Devera back with this car playing PlayStation and maybe some events with Craig Lieberman and I. Um, the sky's the limit. We're here for you guys, the fans. I want to share these vehicles with you. So again, please like and subscribe. We appreciate and uh, your support and keep watching. Thanks. You're missing a lot of stuff for this thing. I know, I know. I'm over here. It looks like this had like an intake at one time or they did something with it. Oh uh, yeah, the whole like- This is where the stock box mounts up to. Here's the clutch. Oh, this has a clutch leak. I wonder if that still works. Got Probably it. not. They just, oh they just cut the negative cable. Master's gone. AC's gone. Oh, cool. We still got the hard lines, though. That'll make life a little yeah, easier. Yeah, that'll make life a little easier. Because wherever the type R, we had none, and we had to go to junkyards and yeah. try to find them. It's the simple things that make our life a little <laughs> bit easier. It makes it so much easier. <laughs> we get excited when there's AC lines mm -hmm. still left in a Power steering. Show. Cooler line still here. Yep. Not like we need it. But they got the master cylinder. Our clutch master still here. Master cylinder's gone. I think we should like put this somewhere inside the car. Like roll it up nicely in the trunk. Yeah, we'll do something with that because I mean that, that's definitely a piece of its history, even though we don't need an auxiliary cart no. to roll to make the uh, PlayStation work. But um Derek, I know these are movie accurate wheels, but I wonder, can you read the date code on the tire? I don't think it's on this side. I think it's on the other side. Dude, these are still original tires. That's nuts. Holy crap. The 17th week of 2000. Get out of here. So that proves these were on set then. Yeah. They're they're 20 year old tires. Yep. So the last, for the last two is the year. The first, the other two are the Dude, week. Dude, get out of here, man. I figured maybe it was a tire change because I know the RX-7, when we got it, we, we were hoping the same thing. But And they still hold air. 
How is this still? There's still somewhere in there. I mean, they, I think they might only have a quarter mile on there. There's not even like that's brand new. Almost. That's awesome. I, I, but all right, do you feel they're going to be safe enough to actually keep on the car, man? I don't know. I mean, even have to look and see how dry rotted they are. That you is know, crazy. They didn't set out in the elements, so it might not dry rotted that much. Right. Because I did. Who are you made awesome. by? Who makes them? Yeah. Yeah, Nitto was a sponsor yeah. of the car. See, yeah. Nitto down there on the sticker. Okay, yeah. So yeah, that's definitely Perry correct then, because they don't make those anymore. Man, that NC four fifties. This car could be, out of all the cars that we've gotten so far, the most dated accurate as far yeah, as. Yeah, because Monica has newer tires. Right. Um, no, no, no. Monica has actual movie accurate those tires. Are the tires. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. So the Eclipse doesn't have the original tires. Correct. The RX-7 does not. doesn't. High Civic does not. Yeah, the RX-7 doesn't. I want turbo. I know. I know. We, we'll talk I want to turbo, Arch H22, or was it the, F, the Cord R motor? One of those two. That's H22 right. would be awesome to put in this. I mean, I know it's not as good as a B-Series, but that would be a period correct engine a lot of guys were doing because H22 has more torque, obviously. Um, I'll talk to RJ about it. I think it's a good idea, but again, we gave him, remember, at the Acura event, we and when I was at... When I was at SEMA and the Acura event, I had a chat with him, so I told him, you know what, you get to pick the engine. He also talked about direct port nitrous injection. And some ITVs? I don't know if he talked, no. I don't know if he said ITVs, but we talked Probably about nitrous. Cool. Some ITVs and some direct port nitrous? D-Series Turbo would be cool. You know, there's only like maybe 17,000 different possibilities with a, with this car, like B-Series, B20, B18C, B18C1, B16A. B16A2. We've well, got... The best is you're taking out of the equation. Huh? The best one's out of the equation. The We're series. not doing the K. No, I, as much as I would love to do a K in here, we just can't. It's just not not right by the car, and that's... But they were in Japan! They were <laughs> still in a warranty at the time! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm thinking probably after the... Uh, after the RX-7's done, and... After Letty's 240 is done, which is way back there right now, um, we start this project. What do you think, Derek? Yeah. We're going to start hunting for parts now because there's a whole lot of dash stuff we're missing. Oh, not too much in engine bay, like actual engine bay necessaries. Right. But, but you know how we do it, basically. We're we going to figure out what motor first. That's the thing. Yeah. That's the starting point, what motor, and then uh, <laughs> there's... If there's any, is this stock if there's any companies out there that care to sponsor us, please let us know because I'll tell you what, everything so far we've been paying out of pocket. And if you guys want any products yeah, on here, on it. it does. There's coilovers in here. Are Get out of here. There's coilovers in here. Are they the eBay style or are I they? No. Coilovers, though. I stuck my hand in there. I feel threats. It'd be easier if you just started it up. Ha 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 You missed something. <laughs> Give me the camera. No light. Like. There's actually coilovers in there, dude. Uh, it's a spring on strut type thing, not a real coilover. Okay. Yeah. So, like, decent brand? Like, do we there's have no name. Right? Oh, so oh God. not the way I can see. But there's It's like the stock strut. Without saying with the, the name. With the without saying the name, I'm I, I'm guessing it's probably three letters. AP. Huh? AP. Uh, could be actually two companies with three letters. APC and what what's the other one? DNA. They had DNA back then. You don't think so? No, DNA wasn't back okay. then. Okay, alright. It's gotta be APC or I don't even know what was eBay back then. APC taillights. Don't see those very often, the Alteza style. What? I can't don't do those. Hate. I can't do those. I'm Dude, sorry. If I you can't. had those, they were like little rockets, man. That's what they look like. <laughs> And they would give you amazing power, torque, and boost. No. No. Not no, even you're close. Not working with me, bro. No. <laughs> <laughs> they were cool, though, back in the day. I drove German cars, so I didn't make those for mine, so. Sorry. That's because nobody cared about German cars yeah, back then. Yeah, say that. We'll see. Got a work cut out for us, homeboy. Just when My we... list keeps getting longer. Oh, dude. The list is beyond long. This is years in the making, all these cars. I mean, it's like we need another lift. We need more lifts on the back row here to lift cars. That way we have more floor space because 
what you guys see in here right now, we have probably, what, five, five or six, maybe ten more cars that are not in here? Six of them outside. Yeah. But well, they're non-fast cars. Yeah, non, all the fast here stays inside. But uh, this is going to be cool to make this car run and drive again. Got to make her a little faster than Monica. What are we going to do with this, man? I'm sorry. What are we going to do with this thing? Paul's Eclipse. This is supposed to come second. Uh, I know. Paul's Eclipse, we have to keep a 420A and not mess around with that car too much. Um, I know. Taking all the fun out of the job. I know it takes the fun out of it, but in respect to him and the franchise... Well, yeah, because all, all, all stunt cars were autos, right? Right. So... Right. That was, they weren't buying turbo cars. It's a 420A. You know, it's not a horrible engine, but it's not going to be a like engine. a B-series. No. Nah, there's dudes getting some power out of 420As. You show me that. Uh, they're out there. But anyway, it's certainly not a B-series engine. But that's um, why we have an Eclipse outside. Yeah, we're going to build... So the, the story on that, for you guys that don't know, we have a an Eclipse that we we're going to build a replica out of, and then we ditched that idea because we got the actual real one, and then I sold it to Tavarish, who already had another Eclipse, but he wanted a turbo, so he bought the one that he has, and then he bought mine, and then he ditched the whole idea of doing it, sold one to Lex, and then Lex I ended Garage. up buying... Yeah, Lex Garage, and then I ended up buying it back from him, the one that I sold him, so... In a nutshell, yes, we're gonna do a fast replica because driving that one on the street is. We make it actually go tens. Can we have a real movie car that actually goes tens? You tell me, mechanic. Can we have one that runs oh, no, tens? Is your pocket's big enough. <sighs> yeah, it's expensive oh, to go tens. Oh. Yeah, it is expensive to go tens. I don't know. We'll have fun with it. Whatever. Hey, then... Stopping out this and that thing is easy peasy to go tens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't even know what we're going to do. This is Letty's stunt number two, um, 240SX. That was in Fast 1 and Fast 2. There was also a purple car in Fast 1, and who knows what we're going to do with it. We're not even there. I can't even talk about that no. right now. We have I mean, so, so much. We got 1240 to deal with. Yeah, we got 1240 and I ain't finished yet. So let's go ahead and finish this car right here. And uh, it's going to be fun. Hondas are what we, we do, should, you yo. Know we get it. That's what you like. Kraken VTech, yo. Okay. We, we do Vanos, so... <laughs> No, but we should get another lift, and we can do two at the same time. What? You know how expensive that is? Two at the same time, dude? Yeah, we could do the FD and the Civic at the same time. Yeah, maybe. All right. Paint. We're going to need more cameras. Paint and body. Yeah, we're going to need more cameras. Paint and body, what do you think? Full repaint? I say, listen to me. I'm going to answer the question for you. No. No, because you can't get them. original graphics. I don't want to screw with. It does have blemishes here and there, but I think that the right body guys could make this happen and make it all blend in. It's white. We don't have a lot of pearl. There's not a lot of yeah, light. but you can tell that this is painted, and this is still factory. You can tell the difference in the paint. So they remember they put these on. No, no, no. this is still the original paint, and this is no, no, no. The car was never white. The car was never white. Look at the engine bay. But well, they painted it black. It's like I don't even know you. I don't know. How? Earth to Derek. Yes, the but they're all black. What's the original no. color of the car then? Silver. It is gray. Oh, I didn't see that part. My fault. No, that's actually like that bluish gray. Derek thing. wears glasses for a reason. Man, I think he's colorblind. No, I'm not colorblind. Anyways, you might want to retract that statement about factory paint versus uh, aftermarket. But no, okay. I think okay, the paint. Okay, I'll say I'm wrong on that one. The, the paint guys are going to probably uh, they'll have their they'll have their work cut out for them, obviously. But um, I am not going to do a full repaint on this. We will touch up what's needed, buff, paint correct, and whatever else. Because who makes these, the graphics? it's not about who makes the graphics. No, but I'm sorry, who who makes the graphics? Modern Image did the graphics okay. on all the cars. And the graphics are in great shape. I mean, there's no peeling. There's no nothing. Oh, there's no peeling. A huh? little bit. I mean, <laughs> now you're nitpicking. That's coming from you. <laughs> Derek loves when I use the word OCD. Right, Derek? No, I don't. What? <laughs> yeah, actually not bad at all. Yeah, they're in really it's good shape. That, it's just basically the bumper. Right. And these little edges here. But that's it. And the door catching on the fender. But that's... God, I can't believe you can set... You put drywall screws in. Drywall screws in the rear bumper. And the skirt. Yeah, and the skirt. 
Z3 Fenders, and then Z3 Deluxe Fenders. I'm sorry, it's not my thing at all. Hey, it's got some I... German on here for you. What are you complaining about? <laughs> I can't just leave that alone. <laughs> I actually do like the wing. Out of all of it, I like the wing and I like the front bumper. I like that it's fiberglass. I always, I'm a huge fan of the fiberglass wings. I had an Acura Integra that had a big wing and it was like the double stack GTR. Oh, you're one of those guys. Yeah, and it was huge. I mean, it, it was like, I don't know. Was the, it taller than the roof? It was, yeah. Oh, heck yeah. It was like almost <laughs> flush with the roof and came way wide out and had like two little, uh, fiberglass foils. So you, you were a ricer back then. Oh, dude, I was Uncle Ben's fried rice, dude. That was me. I had the APC taillights. I had the Z3 fenders. I had none of that. I even painted my, uh, my Integra was Viper Blue Metallic. I had flips and skinnies, bro. I had the Shogun kit. Remember the body kits, Shogun? I'm sorry, German cars don't have body kits. And... <laughs> <sighs> but I hear what you're talking about, yeah. Anyways, period correct stuff, man. This is what kids were doing. But Back I think we should be able to, well, besides this one, I think we should be able to control the engine bays on cars that you didn't actually not see the engine bay on. We're already doing that with Letty's 240. We're making that I'm thing just stupid we fast. Just, just make it the way we, it's our touch to it, basically. Yeah, we're making Letty's car like 500 horsepower, ultra fast. Um, ultra fast? For what it is. Well, yeah, but it's ultra fast. Ultra yeah. fast. <laughs> All right. <You> know, <laughs> ultra slow? No, it's just the word you're wordy. That's all. We're wordy. Super fast. Wait, what do we do with this? Can we, do we have to leave this a D? Maybe yes. We... Yes, that will remain a D series. We could put a turbo kit on it because we had turbo noises in the in the film. Oh, okay. So you know, give, give your outro, Derek. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>